What does being rich mean to you? For most people, being rich means being a Bill Gates, a Warren Buffett, or an owner of the fastest car in town. Unfortunately, that's the wrong way to define wealth. And as I'll prove in this video, thinking that you need $50 million, a Rolex watch, or a Ferrari to become rich is one of the reasons why most people never become rich. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. What you need When I was setting out as an entrepreneur, as I've said many times on this platform, my biggest motivation was freedom. I wanted to have control over my time and my life. I wanted to be able to wake up at the time I wanted and sleep at the time I want. No, I don't want to be lazy. I only want to be able to work at whatever time I think is right for me. I wanted to be able to spend good time with my family and you got it. Just live the way I wanted. Yes, I knew I was going to need money, probably a lot of it, but I was never carried away by the fast cars, the mansions or the biggest phones because I know that I don't need them. The problem about setting goals for what you don't need is that you will never have the right motivation to pay the price for such goals and I'll explain this. You see, deep within you, you know that you don't need the $100,000 Rolex watch. Deep within you, you know that the reason you want to buy the most expensive car in your country is to impress other people. Though you can tell other people that you need these things, you can't tell yourself that. And because your real self knows the truth, pursuing such dreams when the road is difficult is near impossible. Now, let's talk about what you need. In my case, I love freedom and I'm sure I needed it. It was because I needed the freedom that I wanted to build my own business so that I'll be in control of my life. I desired to make money, not because of the Ferraris, but because I wanted to be able to afford everything my family needs without having to sacrifice my life or freedom. Because I truly needed what I set the goal to pursue, when I failed in the business world, I had the strength to start all over again because I knew that what I was pursuing is like life to me. So, what is my point here? Well, if you are just starting as an entrepreneur, don't let your goals be dominated by your wants because wants are not motivating enough to keep you making the sacrifices needed to build a successful company. If you're broke as you watch this video, don't set a goal to become the next Bill Gates because such goals will not motivate you for a long time. Instead, sit down and imagine the things you truly need which being broke is denying you of. Think about the kind of life you want for your children. Think about the kind of freedom you'll have if you can pay off all your debt. Think about what it means to work at whatever time you like, not at the time a boss wants. Think about the real things you need and set goals around such and you'll be motivated for a long time. Big dreams kill. Think about a man who is grossly overweight. Let's say he's 300 pounds. And one day, this man sees a 70 pounds guy and tells himself, I'm going to become 70 pounds next year. While this seems like a good goal, such a goal only inspires you for a week. Instead, the 300 pounds man should see how he should lose 50 pounds in the next one year. And maybe he could lose 100 pounds the following year. And maybe he could consistently lose weight for the next few years. The same thing happens with money. Consistency, not a miracle, is what wins the game of money and it all starts by you telling yourself the truth and the truth is you don't need a billion dollars and you shouldn't set a goal for a billion dollars except you're already a millionaire. I hope you get my point here. The Rolex watch, Ferrari and big mansions are not bad things but they are not the definition of wealth. While you can have them when the time comes for you to have them, don't pursue money because of them or else you will never become truly rich. The fake rich. Look at Instagram. Look at Facebook. Look at your neighborhood. Everywhere is filled with people who are trying so hard to look rich even though they are poor. This is because our society has the wrong definition of wealth. People try hard to look rich because they have set the wrong financial goals for themselves. Take for instance, when I started making some real money as an entrepreneur, the question I started asking myself is, who else can I employ? Not which phone or car can I buy next? The reason why I don't run after the shiny object is that my goal is not the Ferrari but freedom. People who believe the wrong things about money do set wrong goals about money and do wrong things with their money. And that's my point in this video. If you believe wrong things about money, you'll set the wrong goals about money and you'll do the wrong things with your money. And yes, you'll become poor. 
Don't set a goal to lose 200 pounds in the next year. Set a goal to lose 20 pounds first. Don't set a goal to buy a Lamborghini. First, set a goal to be free from money worries. First, set a goal to have a debt-free life. Don't set a goal to buy a $200,000 watch. Set goals to have the time needed to live, enjoy, and relax with your loved ones. Don't define wealth as billions of dollars because it's not. Wealth is freedom and that should be your primary goal because that's what can motivate you to do the difficult things you have to do to defeat poverty. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.